Hello, Janice. Carter here at Macklin Floor. Hey, listen, uh, Steve was telling me that you guys were chatting this morning. And, uh, yeah, he asked me if I could just shoot, like, a little video of the truck that I had in mind yesterday. And I guess Steve has confirmed that it, it would work for us. So, um, this is it. This is our 2022 F-150 XLT 301A, but it's got a lot of nice options on it. So, I'll get into all that in a sec here. Uh, first off, we're talking about carbonized gray which is a gorgeous gorgeous color looks awesome in the sunlight it's actually a little bit dirty right now so it doesn't look as as good as it could have but uh it still shows great and there it's a gorgeous color, color so i really like it um talking about a crew cab so full four doors five and a half foot bed you got these beautiful 18 inch rims they've got like a gloss black and uh brushed aluminum kind of combo going on here they're 18 inch you got some nice goodyear wrangler tires wrapped around them um, so those are obviously fantastic um, and they look the part too it kind of matches the whole dark gray look you obviously have your rear sensors here you have seven and four pin connectors there for doing some towing I noticed that you have a nice little step here too yeah so this is a nice feature you can pull that out and that pad just kind of adjusts to wherever your foot is and then you have two different levels for actually getting back up into the bed too so um yeah i mean it, it makes it really easy for especially like a guy like me who's a little bit bigger uh to, you know actually get up into uh, one of these beds and kind of move around so i'm a big fan of them yeah nice little feature and you know ford's done a good job to designing the rear tailgate so you have like a measuring area here you have a place to you know crack open a bottle if you're having a beer tailgating or something so they've done a good job uh making it you know a lot more usable in my opinion um and then when you're ready to stow it away folds up and you're back to normal so nice little feature there you do still have all your blind spot monitoring as well so that's the little radar system It'll feed through from the tail lights into the mirrors there for you and feed you all that good information. Make sure you don't crash. Getting into the interior, you have the new sport cloth, which feels awesome. Um, it's a lot more robust. Doesn't feel like, you know, cheap cloth. It actually feels quite nice. We have the tray liner mats already installed, which is uh, one of my favorite mods to do these trucks. It just helps with cleanliness and overall appearance. Your huge back seat, as I'm sure you're familiar with, loads of space back there. And then I'll go around the other side here. We can kind of check out the uh, the driver's area. Now, something I don't know if Steve chatted with you about this, but you do have a redesigned front end here. So most uh, kind of noticeable is you have this big C shape that kind of feeds down into the uh, the fog light there, and it makes it look gorgeous. So. One little note there for you. You got your uh, entry pad there for your factory code. And then getting into the interior. A lot of stuff will look familiar, but um, obviously have your, the new layout there um, for all of your gauge clusters. And then you also have uh, the sink four, which I can't remember if yours was a 20 or not, um, but it would have uh, I think a different operating system that this one has. So upgraded, uh, yeah, you can add your phone, you have your built-in navigation, all your audio sources. And the new sound system sounds quite nice. Um, I worked in a music store for like three years and I uh, got to really appreciate a good sound system and uh, I quite like this one. All your different settings, I'm sure you know all that stuff. Set up your vehicle just how you like it. Uh, you are doing some towing, so factory trailer brake controller is always good. Um, and you also have the pro trailer backup assist. That's where when you have your trailer hooked up to the truck, you can actually put it in reverse and use this to steer the truck um, and basically use your camera. And this is your steering wheel instead of having to you know, hold your hand here and crank your neck back. Right. So it's uh, it's quite nice. You also have two high, four high, four low, and then all your different. Uh, drive modes, which will be like, it'll give you a, an independent tow haul mode, eco, sport. So like if we hang out in sport, it'll just make everything look like black and red. So it looks pretty sharp, you know, eco, you can probably already imagine nice and green. 
So they've done a good job laying out everything. And then you also have different terrains like slippery, deep snow sand, mud ruts, all that fun stuff. So it's quite nice. Um, you got some charging down below there, USB, USB-C. You also have a little, uh, one of my favorite little features. You can fold that down. And since this one's optioned with it, you have actually a little workstation or uh, what I like to think of using it for is probably just having a place to eat your lunch and not have a bunch of crumbs everywhere. So that's a nice little feature for sure. For sure. And then obviously you have your uh, storage area in there as well. So this truck is optioned out really, really nice. It's got uh, everything that probably I would put in a truck. So it seems like a good contender. And if Steve's thing seems to think that it'll uh, fit within your budget, then uh, I, I trust Steve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send this over and uh just let steve know that you you kind of have seen it and uh, kind of go from there so i'll fire this off and we'll uh, we'll chat later thanks bye, -bye.